Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we discussed the uh, success option for Ajax and displayed a bootstrap alert message when the Ajax request was performed successfully. Now in this lecture, we will discuss two other options regarding the Ajax request and these two options are very useful and used most frequently whenever you can see some example of Ajax request. And using these options, we can display some sort of alerts uh, like Ajax is being processed and the best example of this displaying a loader in the center of the screen while your Ajax is being performed and hide or stop this loading once the Ajax performed successfully. And for this purpose, we can use before send and complete options with our Ajax. The before send option will allow us to show some kind of progress that Ajax is being performed or in progress and the complete options involved when the Ajax request has been performed. However, this complete option does not need that your Ajax must be successful or not. Even if your Ajax request is unsuccessful, you can perform something when your Ajax completed. Okay, so we will use these two options before send and complete in this lecture. So let's start using this. So first we need to define an empty DOM element for showing the loader. But the question is where you will define that. Okay. For example, here you can see that this is the books index page. We can define that loading element here or we can define that loading into uh, page by page. But the best way to define such loading elements is your layout. Why? Because there might be chances that you can perform a Ajax on multiple places in your application. Then you must have that loading element defined on one page and that being rendered or that being displayed into your pages where you are performing Ajax. So layouts are the best place for doing that. Okay. And we all have the application layout by default in our Rails application. So we will use this loading element into our application layout. Okay. However, it's again your choice where you want to use this loading element, but it's my choice to use this uh, uh, loading element into the application layout. Okay. So your choices can be different. So where you want to use that you can use. Okay. So for, from my point of view, let's go to the application.html.erb. Okay. Because it's our layout file. So open application.html.erb. Okay. And below the yield block, we will use our loading element. Okay. So how we can define our loading element is just like defining a simply simple div element. Okay. With some empty content and we can use a ID or class with loading. So let's define div with ID, for example, loading or loader, whatever you prefer, you can do here. Okay. And now, uh, just close this div and we will do not write anything in it and let's keep it visible because we need to set some css to it that uh, how it will look like when ajax in progress okay because uh, uh, for example if you just uh, write the element and add the style like display none okay then what will happen that uh, you will see the how the loader will work or how uh, some content will display uh, within this loader uh, class or loader ID element, then you must uh, fix your CSS at that time. So we will first write the CSS for it and then we will add the display none class to it or display none style to it and then we will display it using the Ajax or before send option. Okay. So let's define the style tag into the head tag of the application.html.trb. Okay. So here we can define the style. Okay. And in this style tag, we need to add some CSS properties. By the way, before adding CSS properties, I just wanted to tell you honestly that I just go to these styles by Googling because I'm not so good at CSS. So I will not be able to explain the style stuffs. Okay. And I'm really sorry for that. If you have any confusion regarding the CSS properties, I'm adding here. Okay. So now here you can see what the element I have that is loader. So we can add here loader. Okay, and in this loader ID or loader selector, what we can do, we can assign some styles like position. So first position must be fixed. Okay, because we will display it into the center and left. It's a zero PX. Right or top is also zero PX. And then we can add width. It's a hundred percent. And then height 
hundred percent, and then Z index. Okay, and Z index. Let's say you can it like this. Okay, and now we need to add the image that will appear in the background, and there we can. Uh, add some background color as well when the lower loader is showing because usually if you uh, see if you have if you got the chance to look at some pages where the objects are performing you might have seen that uh, loader when the loader is appears the screen is like uh, blur or some gray kind of skin there uh, just like when we open the bootstrap model and we see some uh, gray kind of screen in the background okay so we will do the same thing here okay and we will add first like background background and here in the background first we will add the image url here okay and whatever image you want to provide just make sure that it's a proper loading indicator it could be a image simple image or it could be gif okay gifs are the best but uh, it's your choice what you want to use here so you need to mention the url here now the value of this url could be anything like you can store the image in your local rails project and you can provide the asset path here or you can uh, get the image from the url or some https source and you can provide that url here no matter how what url will you, you provide just make sure that it's a valid image source or valid image path okay it can be from your assets path or it can be from some other resource over the internet okay so i will use uh, GIF that I have already opened in my system so here you can see that I will use this loading GIF so just copy this URL okay and then I will paste this here okay so I am gonna use this URL and now we need to add some other properties here like 50% 50% and then no repeat okay and then some RGB color and it should be like uh, 1510 and then 59%. Okay, again, I'm saying that it's your choice with uh, like uh, pro how you want to style the loading element. And again, saying that I just copied these styles from the Google, so I will not be able to uh, uh, explain it well. Mainly, this uh, background URL. Okay, so just save this now. Just switch to the browser and refresh your page. Okay, so here you can see uh, in the applications page, refresh your page, and here you will see that this is the loading element which is appear on the DOM. Okay, and this loading spinner is keeps loading, but our purpose was satisfied, and that is how the loader will be visible on the DOM when Ajax was in progress or when Ajax being processed okay now come to the application.html.trb and add that style display none to your loading view okay so just switch to this here because now we don't want to uh, show this all the time we will only display this loader when the ajax is in progress okay so what we can do here we can add some style here let's say style display none okay save the file and refresh the browser and you will see that now the loader will disappear okay so the loader is working as expected so we need to use the before send and complete options with our ajax now so open the application.js and come to the ajax implementation so switch to the project directory and open the application.js and here you can see that we are using four options now that is url type data and success okay now after right after the data what we need to use before send option first so before send okay and with this before send what we can provide so we can just write a function for example and into this function what we can do sorry and in this function what we can do we can just show the loading view so and uh, what was the id of our loading view that is loader okay and then show And now, just after uh, like the before send option, what we need to use, do, we need to use the complete option. So, complete and just define it as function as well. Okay, and here we just need to hide this. Why? Because after completing the Ajax, we must hide the loader. Okay, so you can use the hide here. Okay, save the file and now come to the browser again and refresh your page okay and select any book to delete so 
for example let's i selected this first book to delete and click on the delete book button now and press ok into the confirm dialog you can see you might have seen the loader for a very small amount of time okay that's the reason is because we are performing this operation into the development environment and it's usually faster and we are just deleting one single uh, book so that the request is performed very fast okay but to see the loader more properly what we can do we can just do a hack here that we can add some sleep time for example like uh, two second one second into our rails controller action okay so you can do it here uh, so open the books controller books controller and into this books controller what we can do here we can either add the debugger as well but debugger what will do that you need to change the screen and then when you go back to the uh, browser then your loader will disappear automatically so i am using the slip option here so slip and then 0 0.2 okay what it will do that uh, when you send the adjust request or when you select some books or when you click on the delete book button it will hold the request processing for two seconds and then it will process the operation okay so let's save it and refresh the page now okay so save it refresh the page and now uh, for example select these two books and click on the delete two books so select okay from the confirmation dialog and here you will see the loader for some time uh, like two seconds and right after the ajax has been completed and loader disappears our success option get invoked and the flash message to the user was displayed okay and that's it this was our purpose of this lecture so let's recall again what we did in this lecture so first we added an element to show the loader in the layout file and added some styles there so here you can see that in application layout what we did that we added this loading div and we added some styles here and we set some background image to show the loader okay and then we implemented some uh, not some <laughs> the before send and complete uh, options into the ajax request that we are sending where in before send we just show our loader element and in complete option we just hide our loader element okay and that's how it works and you do not need to do this thing okay why because i just did this to show you that how loader works actually okay for example if you want to see it for more you can add let's say let's make some let's say seven here. okay sorry 0 0.7 okay what it will do that it will hold the screen for more time okay so you should not use this instead you can use like a debugger so let's use the debugger okay so you can use the debugger here and when you come to the browser and when you select any book to delete press the ok in the confirm dialog and you can see that unless you exit from the debugger your loader keeps loading why because ajax is still in progress it is not performed why because our debugger has halted the uh, execution at the controller level okay and when you come to the server and exit from the debugger okay press c and exit from the debugger you can see that uh, that book has been deleted from the uh, database and from browser itself okay but uh, since we are we were on different screens so as soon as we exit from the debugger the loader disappears from the browser okay and that's it so i hope you like this lecture please try this lecture at your end and we will meet into next lecture till then tata goodbye take care stay safe